In today's video, we are going to talk about Toyger cats, and all the facts and myths surrounding the breed. The Toyger is one of the newest breeds of cat. It captures the wild tiger-like look effectively, while being a completely domesticated cat. Unlike the Asa cat, which has markings that were naturally developed, and have remained the same for centuries, the Toyger is a designer breed, much the same as the Bengal, the Savannah, and the California Spangle. In fact, the Toyger was originally called California Toyger. The Toyger name is a portmanteau, of the words toy and tiger. The comparison of cats to tigers is not a new concept. For many years, tabby cats, particularly red tabbies with the mackerel pattern have been referred to as tiger striped and one of the most popular names for red tabby cats is tiger. The developers of the Toyger are hopeful that, eventually, the resemblance to the big tigers will be even closer. It is recognized by the International Cat Association but not the Cat Fanciers Association. 1. Toyger Cat's History One person is responsible for the initial development of the Toyger in 1980, Judy Sugden, the daughter of Jean Mill, the original breeder of the Bengal cat, a cross between the domestic cat and the Asian leopard cat. Sugden started a breeding program with two cats, Scrap Metal, a domestic shorthair tabby, and Millwood Rumpled Spotskin, a big-boned Bengal. In 1993, Judy imported Jammy Blue, a street cat from Kashmir, India, that had all spots between his ears, rather than the regular tabby lines. Joining Judy in 1993, in this pioneering work were Anthony Hutcherson, and Alice McKee. That same year, the International Cat Association also accepted the Toyger for registration only. The Toyger is now listed as a championship breed in the association. According to Sugden, its body is both larger and longer than a typical cat, in order to sport the bold vertical striping found in the tiger. The typical tabby striping and rosettes are broken up, and elongated to better resemble that of the tiger. The vertical orange stripes of this toyger are narrowly bordered with black or very dark brown, much like that of the Sumatran tiger, a critically endangered species found only on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. One of Sugden's main goals in the development of the toyger, is to help prevent the extinction of big cats by enticing cat aficionados, to pursue toyger ownership over wild or hybrid species. The ideal head has the circular markings, which cannot be found on any other domestic cat breed. The nose would be broader at the base with the jowl area correspondingly wider. The shape of the head in profile is described as a half hexagon. The International Cat Association describes the markings as, dark markings on a vividly bright orange background, on the outer to top portions of the cat, with a whited ground color on the undersides, and insides, enhanced by the scatter of gold glitter over the top. Each cat's markings are distinct. A Toyger's personality is laid back, outgoing, friendly to all, and able to get along well with other cats, even dogs, and children. They are intelligent and easy to leash train. 2. Toyger Cat Care Toygers should be brushed weekly and have their nails trimmed regularly. As with all domesticated cats, you should keep its ears clean and brush its teeth to prevent dental problems. You will need to play with your Toyger to provide intellectual stimulation, as well as exercise. Toygers are trainable and you may even be able to train him to walk on a leash. They also love to be a lap cat, and will give you lots of affection in return. As with any cat, it is wise to keep your Toyger as an indoor-only cat, to prevent exposure to infections, fights, predators, and thieves, they are sold at a premium price and considered one of the most expensive breeds. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE, to get 20% off. 3. Toyger Cats Grooming Although cats groom themselves, regular grooming is advised to keep its coat in good shape. It stimulates circulation, massages the skin, and removes debris and loose hair. Grooming also strengthens the bond between the owner and the cat. Bathing As cats clean themselves, bathing can be introduced into the cat's routine when it's a kitten, and should be done every two to three weeks. During times of shedding, bathing will help to remove dead hair. Try and teach your cat to get used to bathing when it's a kitten. Fill a wash basin or sink with lukewarm water, and ensure that you use veterinary-approved shampoo. Work the shampoo in thoroughly, and ensure that it completely washed out, as any residue shampoo can hurt your kitty when it dries. A good rub with a towel will help to get your cat dry, but they do tend to groom themselves for a while after bathing to dry them off properly. Brushing they shed moderately, so regular brushing is a must. Brushing must be introduced when your cat is still a kitten, as it helps to form good habits. Don't forget to brush the stomach and under the neck area. Most cats actually love this. Your cat can be brushed every two to three weeks to remove dead hair. Do not brush too much, 
as cats produce oil through their hair to cover the coat and keep it healthy. Too much brushing can stimulate these oils in excess. Make sure you clean the brush after each brushing. Clipping Cats' nails tend to keep on getting sharper as they grow. Most cats prefer to keep the nails from getting too sharp, by scratching on things. When there are not enough things in the house to scratch, you might need to think of buying scratch poles or pads. Even with all the scratching, nails do need to be clipped every few months, but it is best to let your veterinarian do this, as it can get really dangerous for your cat. There is a tiny vein that runs into each nail, normally causing a faint pink shadow in the nail. This is called the quick. When the nail is cut too short and in the quick, your cat will bleed, which is painful and unpleasant. 4. Toy your cat's common health problems. Toygers are still very uncommon, so there is not much history to make solid conclusions about their common ailments. However, they may have a greater risk of heart murmurs. Be sure to get the usual regular checkups, preventative care, and immunizations for your toyger. 5. Toyger cat's diet and nutrition. Cats need to have a good balance in protein, carbohydrates, minerals, and nutrients. There are wet and dry cat foods on the market, and portions of both are necessary. Wet food is good for the protein, and dry food keeps their teeth healthy. But if you stick with only one kind, your cat can get sick more often. Toygers don't have any special dietary requirements apart from those of domestic shorthair cats. Provide your cat with high quality, wet and dry food, and give your cat access to fresh, clean water. Obesity can reduce your cat's lifespan, so discuss any weight gain with your veterinarian. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.